Okay, so the big question we are asking tonight is, is it ever okay to use the N-words or any race, racial slurs in the classroom to sort of dive into that? We've invited our Dr. Rashad Ritchie here. He's not only our political analyst, but you're also a professor at Beulah Heights University. Yeah. So, what's your take? My take is, is this. A professor works for the university. Mm -hmm. The university exists because of students. If you racially offend students, that's bad for business. Let's go beyond this one incident, right? We have an incident this week. We also had another professor use the N-word allegedly last week. Last year, we were reporting on a professor at Emory Law who used the N-word then, was reprimanded and used it again. I don't know what lesson hmm. has so much content to racial slurs that you can't teach the lesson without offending 11% of your student base. Does the context matter if they're trying to teach kids about, you know, feeling uncomfortable? And, and that's clearly what the, or that, at least that's what the teacher says that his intent was. And I could imagine a word, using a word like that would achieve that goal. Does that make it any better? I don't think it makes it better at all because you can achieve discomfort in a lot of ways. And I would challenge that professor. If you think using the N-word is the only way to land a lesson of discomfort, have you utilized any derogatory words about the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. or our Jewish brothers and sisters? Have you gone that far? Or did you just keep it at the N-word and that is a reference to black uh, kids in your classroom? So I would call the professor out for that. Outside of the racial slurs that we've reported on from Emory University uh, School of Law, there's an alumni. There's a, uh, there's a commissioner named Arrington, Marvin Arrington, out of mm -hmm. Fulton County, graduated right. from Emory Law School, and he had a statement, and him and I communicated earlier, and this is exclusive to CBS 46 Peachtree TV. He says, use of the N-word has now turned into sport for the faculty of the law school. Emory should live up to his mission and values statement. Use of the N-word is never appropriate in a professional environment. While yes, this is an academic environment, right. this is still a professional environment as well. I agree with the commissioner. What does this say about the overall culture though of Emory University and that law school? If this is happening not once, not twice, but now a third time. Well, to me, it shows a dynamic of insensitivity. Let's look at the protocol of the university. Emory Law School has already said, don't do this because they did cite the professor who did it last time, told him to stop it. He did not stop it. And so they suspended the guy. That creates what's called a de facto campus policy, meaning professors, your own guard, your own watch, don't do it. It's not acceptable. And then you have two incidents back to back. Not only are they disregarding the student base that said they were offended, they are disregarding the very protocol that Emory Law School has set up by way of the citation of the first professor. So what would you like to see Emory do? At this point, they basically can't do anything more than they did to the first guy. That's the problem with precedent. Once you set the precedent, you can't go too far up from that. And if they do, they may open them, uh, themselves up for lawsuit. So you may see the same exact thing, a suspension with pay. Wow. So much more to follow up on this, yeah. Rashad. Rashad Ritchie, thank you very much. Thank you.